Meet the Deedles. Meet the Deedles is a 1998 American comedy film directed by Steve Boyum, his directorial debut, and starring Paul Walker, Steve Van Wormer, A.J. Langer, John Ashton, Robert Englund, and Dennis Hopper. This was the first live-action film from DIC Entertainment. Plot. Fraternal twins Phil Walker and Stu Van Wormer Deedle live in Hawaii and enjoy a life of leisure, living off of their father Elton's breed and hard-earned wealth. After they are reported truant from school so they could enjoy a surf session on their 18th birthday, the school expels them. Frustrated with their laziness, Elton enrolls them in a boot camp at Yellowstone National Park, to the horror of the boys. Arriving on the mainland, they learn that the boot camp has been shuttered due to lawsuits and the former owner, Major Flowers Ganey, intends to give them survival training on his own. En route to their camp, he accidentally drives them over a cliff, ejecting them from the vehicle. Believing he killed the brothers, Flowers disappears into the forest. Phil and Stu steal clothing from a nearby campsite and proceed downhill by luge to the nearby ranger station. After a collision with the park sign, the responding park rangers misidentify the brothers by the names Mel and Mo written on clothing tags that they took earlier. The brothers awaken in the hospital and assume the identities they had been given, learning that Mel and Mo were expected by the station as two highly touted naturalist recruits to the National Park Service. As they adjust to life at Yellowstone, they struggle to adopt Mel and Mo's apparent foraging lifestyle, while also feebly attempting to accomplish their job as best as they can. Along the way, Phil develops a mutual attraction with Jesse Langer, a lieutenant at the station, and the stepdaughter of the park's commanding ranger, Captain Pine Ashton, earning both the brothers Pine's ire. Eventually, the brothers discover Slater intends to implement his plan during an anniversary celebration for Old Faithful in hopes that he publicly humiliates Pine in the process. Later, the real Mel Gastayer and Mo Cavanaugh arrive at the ranger station after being waylaid by various mishaps and they expose the Deedles as impostors. This upsets Jesse and Captain Pine, leading to the brothers' expulsion from the park. Despite this, they still set out to stop Slater from going through with his plan and attempt to infiltrate his base. When they parachute onto his land, they are immediately taken underground to Slater. There, with the help of a prairie dog they befriended earlier, they don protective heat suits and halt the diversion of superheated water to Slater's geyser new faithful and restore old faithful. This causes a reaction that creates an explosion on Slater's land, creating a natural wave pool where visitors can surf. Slater and his henchmen are arrested for their crimes. Phil reconciles with Jesse, and the brothers are reinstated into the park service. Elton arrives and expresses his pride in their accomplishments, and the brothers along with Jesse go surfing in the newly created park attraction. Cast Paul Walker as Phil Deedle Steve Van Wormer as Stu Deedle A.J. Langer as Lieutenant Jesse Ryan John Ashton as Captain Douglas Pine Robert England as Nemo Dennis Hopper as Frank Slater Eric Breeden as Elton Deedle, Richard Lineback as Crab, M.C. Ganey as Major Flowers, Anna Gasteyer as Mel, Megan Cavanaugh as Mo, Hattie Winston as Joe Clare, Bart the Bear as Circus Bear. The film also features cameos from former Oingo Boingo members Steve Bartek, Johnny Vatos Hernandez, Carl Graves, and Sam Sluggo Phipps as the band at the Luau. The film marked the last feature film appearance of the original Bart the Bear, who became ill in 1998 and died in 2000. Reception Reviews for the film were unanimously bad, claiming the film was nothing more than a poor attempt to revive the goofball duo genre of films like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 
Wayne's World, and Dumb and Dumber. Areas of the film that drew the most criticism were its two-dimensional characters, overuse of surfer slang, ludicrous plot, and questionable morals. The movie has since gone out of print, though it is available for streaming on Disney Plus and Amazon Prime as of August 2020. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 7% based on reviews from 28 critics. The site's consensus states, audiences will be eager to lose the Deedles number after suffering through this obnoxiously unfunny surfer comedy. Box Office The movie was a box office bomb, only grossing $4. $4 million against a $24 million budget. Soundtrack The original music for the film was composed by former Owingo Boingo member Steve Bartek. Most of the songs featured on the soundtrack were from third-wave ska bands, as the genre was at the peak of its popularity at the time of the film's release. Wrong thing right then, the mighty, mighty Boston's. Lady Luck Dance Hall Crashers. Seems Like Yesterday Goldfinger. Dr. Bones Cherry Poppin' Daddies. I Can't Wait Hepcat. Psycho Grammy Gary Hoey. For You Save Ferris. Go Where You Go, Jeggy Ta. Failing and Leaving Radish. American Girls Homie. Hawaii Five O Perfect Thyroid. Who Are Those Guys? Steve Bartek.